Hello and welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how Inkscape can be used to open a PDF document and in uh, many cases extract uh, information from that PDF document in the form of diagrams and so on. So let me just uh, minimise Inkscape for the moment and find a PDF document here. I'll right click on that and go open with then select Inkscape. If it's not there try choose another app and navigate to Inkscape that way. But I'll select Inkscape there. If it's a multi-page PDF, Inkscape will offer you uh, a number of pages. You can select the pages from here. It's greyed out in this instance because I've only got a one-page PDF, but if there's multiple pages, you can scroll through or select the page that you want to open and get a preview of it there to help you make that decision. So I'll just go OK. And the uh, PDF, which would open in a Adobe Reader or something like that if I normally double clicked on it is now open in Inkscape. If I zoom in on this you can see all the diagram elements if I control click on that graph for example shift click red I can edit it and so on. The only trouble is I've noticed the text doesn't behave very well and you're pretty much better off retyping text if you want to edit that. If you want to leave it that's fine but look what happens T for text tool or select uh, there if I uh, click at the start of S and put in, let's say, X, it just types it over the top. If I do a Y, it types over the top, Z, W, and so on. just makes a mess and doesn't move along. So I'll control Z to get out of that. Even over here, if I put in, um, let's say, the letter A, it just types it over the top. The only place it does behave itself is at the very end. If I type A, it'll keep typing. So that's a bit annoying. So if you really wanted to change that text dramatically, uh, you're better off selecting it. Uh, actually, it's part of a group there. Control click, yep, and deleting it. Uh, control click, delete, and so forth, and then just type in it again. Anyway, it's uh, quite a handy facility in Inkscape to be able to do that because uh, sometimes you might have a PDF document you wish to uh, extract and edit a diagram from, for example. Hope that helps and as always thanks for watching.